Hello, yes, we are now back for season two, baby. I know it's been a while, but you know, that's how it be, that's how it be, it do be like that. Anyways, analysis time. This was, this was actually my first ever point tier draft. Like, I've always done like, uh, tier drafts from now on. For, you have like tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, and then tier five, you know. But now, this is a point draft. So yeah, that's different. So therefore, I got a lot of cool shit and a lot of bad shit. So I have a lot of situational mods and a lot of good mods. So anyways, that's not the point. The point is analysis time. Round one pick, right? I'm middle pick again, as it should be. So therefore, I lose out on all the good stuff. But I somehow managed to pick up Tapu Lele. Now I never used this mod before in drafts, but it always succeeds. It always does shit, it does good stuff. I, I believe this mod should be banned, in my opinion. But it's not, so I'm, I'm just gonna pick it up. Why not? It's not even max points. It's, it wasn't even, it didn't even cost me 18 points, which is what the, the highest, highest Pokemon has cost. So yeah, the mod hidden power is allowed, so that's, that, that stays the same. So Heatran will not wall this, Scissor will not wall this, and all the other answers that have the quad weaknesses to, will not wall this Pokemon, because I will just bump, you know, fucking shit on those mons. Anyways, this mon runs, you know, the usual. It, it pretty much just runs life orbs, specs, or expert belt. Or maybe leftovers if you're feeling snazzy with like iron defense, draining kiss, calm mind, store power, you know. If you're feeling that snazzy. So yeah, Lele, fantastic mon. I'm excited to use this. I hope I win the whole season with this thing and prove that this thing is worth, worthy of a band. Oh, I, I want to bring forth the Ban Lele movement. This shit always does well in draft. It's so good. It's stupid. It clicks one button and that's all it needs to do. Anyways, round two, I grab Toxapex. Why? Because I love this mod. This mod is a bitch. So yeah, yeah to Toxapex does one thing and one thing only. And that is just be annoying. I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to say to this thing. I guess you can, like, it... ban the Toxapex? With T-Spike support? I don't even know if I have T-Spikes. Other than Toxpikes. No, I don't. I don't have T-Spike support other than Toxpikes. I'm spoiling my draft here. Anyways, if I'm feeling real snazzy, I can run like Blizzard. Sleep Talk, Rest. Substitute. Protect. No, Baneful Bunkers just better. But, you know. Eh, this thing does one thing and one thing only. And that's... I don't really have much to say about it. It just takes... Now I want a Corviknight next, but it got sniped. It got, it got, oof, got sniped, god damn, god damn. So yeah, I, I ended up picking up Komoo. Komoo, Komoo has a very interesting ban. And that is you cannot use the combination of Clangorous Soul plus Throat Spray. But you can use them separately, I believe. So I can use like, Clanging Scales and Throat Spray. But not Clangorous Soul and Throat Spray, you know? So yeah, hope. So let's see if we can get some shit going with that. Maybe uh, this thing is mainly a rocker, which is why I grabbed it. It's a rocker and a dragon type. So considering if I have a top of Lele and stealth rocks, how can I lose? I don't lose. I just win the game. I have just won the whole game from just having eight Pokemon. Lele forces a lot of switch. The same as Toxapex, and so I grabbed a solid rocker, which is Camelo. But this thing can also be run. Probably every single way imaginable. I've used this mod before, and trust me, you never bring the same set twice <laughs> on this mod. No, 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 sorry. This shit gets so much different stuff. So <laughs> I'm excited to use it. Last time I had it in a draft, I I wasn't able to use it to its full potential because I had so much other broken shit. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get to use that as something. Anyways, Agro Mega was my next. Why? Because think about it. It's an aggro. This thing is the best right now. I die to psychic types because I set up psychic terrain and both my shits weak to psychic. So I grab the best psychic resist slash switch slash tanker that I could think of, which was Mega Aggron because it has filter. So even though you have a Mega Alakazam and you want to hit that focus blast, first of all, you gotta land that shit. Second of all, you're gonna do 40%. So yeah. You have to chip me down by a lot. 
for your lucky slam to even be able to finish me off. And that is still not mentioning the fact that you can miss. So yeah, this thing is big tank. It, it has a lot of different moves, if you look at it. It gets a lot of different moves. Mainly stuff rocks. That was the big thing. That's why I picked this over like something like... Something like Celestila. Because Celestila is still in the pool. I could pick up Celestila. Even though the transaction period is over. So I can't really do that. But you know, I did. You know what I say? Celestila is there. So in case I want to make some transactions later on the line. I could. You know. Potentially. But yeah, this thing is rocks. Celestila does not. Anyways, next Pokemon. I grabbed the Sidueye. Why? Because this is U-turn support. Think about it. It gets U-turn. It gets Defog. I have no Defoggers right now. You know, I'm kind of lacking in that department. So I grabbed that Defog. I grabbed that Roost. Roost. And I grabbed that U-turn. And I grabbed that Knockoff. This thing does not get Leech Seed. Big sad. My favorite move. It's not there. <laughs> Anyways, I, I can walk it off. But yeah, this thing is big tank. 100 spadef. With the die HP is pretty good. Pretty pretty alright. Got my water switch in. Now I have two water switch ins. Three water switch ins actually. And if I'm feeling snashy, then they can also switch into a water. Depending on the situation. But you know, now, now, now I'm getting some heater stuff, alright? Next pick was Vickovolt. This shit cost me 9 points. So of course I'm gonna pick it up. Of course I'm gonna pick up a 9 points Vicavolt. Hello? This shit gets insane coverage and with hidden power allowed. Like, oof. Sheesh. Now I got webs with top of Lele. Like, oh, that is. Have fun prepping for that, bro. Especially when my web setter forces out most common defoggers. Like Thornatus and all the flying types that it forces out because Thunderbolt is a thing and the ground types that get spin even though I don't even think some did someone grab play at all? I think someone did but that is not an answer to Vicka Bolt this is not an answer you know it's, it's just ain't it just ain't next pick I said fuck it I want some speed bro I, I, I am lacking speed my speed tiers are looking pretty terrible right now so let me grab Talonflame. A defogger is now here. And a speeder is also now here. I mean, I already had a defogger. But this thing also gets defogged. So that is pretty epic. You know, that is that is pretty epic. It also gets U-turn, which is nice. Taunt. Roost. It's a pretty good walk core with this thing. Because this thing takes... This thing takes like steel hit. No, I mean, water. Uh, I can't speak. It takes rock moves, you know? It also takes. Yeah, rock moves. And then this thing takes. um, Ground moves, which this thing is weak to, and fighting moves. So yeah, it, it can work pretty well with Agron, I believe. Technically, I hope so. But yeah, mainly just U turn and speed. That's why I got this thing. Because, you know, it's pretty cool to have. Next thing I got, I decided that I was not going to leave myself behind and not pick up a dark type because that would be stupid. I do need a dark type when I have a psychic terrain. So I picked up this little bitch. Yeah, uh, it's not, it's not a very good mon. I've come to realize that after using it in a few leagues. Choice banded pursuit. Um, adamant max attack to a duo ocean with max defense and like all of that shit. Um, it does approximately 2%. No, it does 70%. Something like that. That's Adamant Choice Banded Max Attack. That's like, bro, this shit's weak as hell, dog. This shit's weak as hell. Anyways, it gets Defog, Fire Moves, Play Rough, Poison Jab, Corrosive Gas, Acid Spray, you know, Taunt, Sucker Punch, Pursuit. Pursuit's the main thing, even though it does nothing, but I can now trap the Alakazam. And I can now trap some Psychic types and some Ghost types that takes advantage of the Psychic terrain. So yeah, that's gonna be nice. 
We're down to our three last picks. The thing is, in this league, you could pick 9 to 11 pokes. And I have the max amount. I picked, like, I wanted most amount of pokes I could possibly get out of my... So you have to prep for more stuff. It makes sense. Because sometimes it's better to force people to prep for a ton of Pokemon than just nine really good Pokemon. So, so yeah, that, that, that's my thought process. Anyways, anyways. Uh, okay. Necrozma. Um, why Necrozma, you ask? Because it's a Psychic type. That is not Tapu Lele. This thing is insane. It has no weaknesses, pretty much, because of Prism Armor. It, it takes a little bit extra, but not a lot. It could take, it could probably take like a bus, bug bus and shit like that, you know? This shit takes knockoffs. With Cobra, for example. It can knock off. In Morning Suns, it sets up rocks. It can be offensive with like Calm Mine and Photon Geyser. It can be like physically offensive with Dragon Dance and Photon Geyser. Like, this shit's wilding, dude. Expanding force, like... I can do some stuff with this mod. This shit can definitely put in a lot of work. Even though, it pretty much is just a Psychic type, which I already have. So you might be like, where the fuck did you put this up? Well, it was between this and a different Psychic type. And when I'm looking at Necrozma or Duosion, I'd rather have a Necrozma than a Duosion. If you know what I'm saying. So yeah. It might not be the best per se. But I think it's going to put in work. And it's going to force prep. Which is what I want. I want to force prep. Because you have to prep for this thing. You can't just ignore it. Then have a cup. Bring one Dragon Dance. And sweep your whole ass team. Because it gets bitch for... Because it gets like every possible move in the game. For coverage. Trick room. Hmm, very cool. Thunder Wave. Ooh, sword stance, substitute, store power, you know? Like, this shit gets so much good moves. Like, you can't just ignore it. You can't just, like, not ignore this thing. You have to prep for it. So, that's why I got it. Because it's it's pretty crisp. It's crispy Pokemon. Crispy. Get some crispy moves. Some crispy stuff I can do. It's the one versatile mon that I grabbed. Because I've grabbed... I pretty much... by Right now, I've grabbed mons that pretty much always does the same. Like, the most versatile mons that I have is Skuntank, Necrozma, and Top Lele. No, not Top Lele, but Kamo. Those are like my most versatile mons in, in terms of set. And Talonflame, I guess you can say. Because the rest just pretty much brings the same shit every time. You know? Or Decidrite can be run offensive or defensive, you know? it's. But that's not the point. The point is that I got Stunfisk next. Why Stunfisk? I originally had Mudstale here, but then someone dropped the Pokemon that I really wanted. So I picked up Stunfisk, and the one other Mon I wanted was very low, amount of, it cost very little. So I was able to trade in Mudstale for Stunfisk and that other Mon that I was spoiled a, a little bit. Anyways, Stunfisk is the one Mon, like one of the few ground Pokemon in the game that actually is specially defensive. This shit takes special hits like there's no tomorrow. And I don't know if you know this, but my team is pretty damn weak to electric spam. I lied, it is not weak to electric spam, but that is not the point. The point is, right, I wanted that electric immunity. Get that immunity on this fist. And not only that, this shit gets stuff rocks. Bring Defoggers versus me. Bring seven Defoggers. You won't. I dare you. Anyways, this shit gets Scald now. That's a big buff for this mod. It gets Earth Power. Discharge, you know. Not only that, it gets, gets stuff like Reflect type. Which can be really fun to use. It gets Surf. Thunderbolt. Toxic and Yawn. Thunder Wave. You know, like, it's an amazing mod with a lot of different stuff it can do. A lot of different moves you can run. It can be very threatening, so it gets no recovery, but I'm fine with that. I'm I'm fine with no recovery. It doesn't need recovery to live, to be a be a bitch. It gets leftovers. That's all it needs, you know. Then limber, not that that's very useful, but static. 
So yeah, Stun Fist, mainly just there for death. To take electric hits. Be an okay walk or with toxic effects. Not that it, that's a very good combination considering, you know, toxic effects does not take ground moves and Stun Fist does not take ground moves, but whatever, who cares. Next mod. What mon is it? Which mon did I pick up? I picked up Reggie Gigas. Reggie Gigas. Reggie 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 Reggie. That's Reggie Rocket, not Reggie Gigas. Anyways, Ghost Immunity. This shit is Ghost Immunity. Not only that, its stats are bonkers for no reason, and this shit cost me two points. That is value. That is a whole lot of bang for your buck on it, I must say. Anyways, this shit can do a lot of stuff. It can run protect plus leftovers plus bulk up plus like an attacking move and just be offensive. But it can also be defensive with like Thunder Wave and Knock Off and, and Earthquake and Drain Punch, you know? Stuff like that. Because this shit got protect now. So I can stall out slow start, and I can have a whopping 100. I don't even need to invest in attack, and it'll still hurt, even though I'm running defensive. So you like you you kind of have to figure out what you're gonna do versus this thing. Considering I can cripple anything with Thunder Wave, I can cripple anything with Toxic, I can knock everything off, and I can just be a bitch. You know, two points for this mon for Ghost Immunity with the combination of all the shit it gets is a steal and a half isn't slow start just attack no okay speed and attack is halved okay so my speed is also terrible at start but you know that's fine i am fine with that i'm fine with using a reggie gigas because of the fact that all the shit it gets is bonkers Anyways, that was my draft. That was my draft for LPFT Season 2. Actually, is this, this is actually not Season 2. But this is Season 2 technically for me. I think this is Season 4 or Season 3. I have no fucking idea, bro. I'm gonna be honest. It's Season 2 that I'm playing. I'm playing, like, this is my second time. So, I'm gonna refer to it as Season 2, even though it's technically not. Anyways, I, I will win this time, okay? Last time, I drafted terribly, and I'm very happy with my draft right now. I'm very, I'm very pleased with what I ended up with. It's very stally, but that is what I like to run, which my previous draft was not very stally. It was very offensive. And then I switched out some of the offensive pieces for defense, and then I had no offense and no defense. That's, what, that's how it just ended up being. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my analysis. I will, there will be coming a battle this week. This analysis was supposed to go up way earlier than it did, but you know, I, some shit, I just got lazy. I have no excuse. I just got lazy. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Peace.